The Hero 4 Silver Edition became the first GoPro to incorporate a built-in touch-sensitive screen. Users of the fantastic Hero 4 Black Edition sacrificed the screen for extra horsepower, even though an LCD backpack solves that problem. Nevertheless, wouldn't it be great to use the touch backpack wirelessly? Thanks to Removu, that's exactly what we have here in the Removu P1. Even with an LCD backpack attached to a Hero 4 Black Edition or a built-in screen as found on the Silver, having a remote live view is seriously useful, especially when your camera is fixed to a location away from easy view. Of course, there's GoPro solution, the smartphone app, although it's not the most convenient and not practical in certain scenarios. Enter the Removu R1. Reviewed in a previous video, the R1 provides a live stream along with the ability to change limited camera settings wrapped in a water-resistant design easily worn on the user's wrist. Now Removu have taken the concept another step further with the Removu P1. The P1 follows the same water-resistant design along with the same wrist strap style concept but incorporates the ability to use your existing touch-sensitive LCD backpack. Compatible with the Hero 3, 3 Plus and the Hero 4, the P1 is the world's first device to turn the GoPro LCD Touch backpack into a wearable live viewer and remote. Let's take a closer look. Within the attractive packaging, users receive the Removu P1 itself. Beneath the unit, users will find some basic safety information along with a user guide and an accessory box containing a micro USB to USB cable used for charging and applying firmware updates, along with a Velcro wrist strap, and Removu stickers to attach to your gear. Weighing in at 60 grams, that's without an LCD backpack inserted, and with a rigid plastic construction, the unit as a whole is strong as well as lightweight. Other than a single discrete Removu logo along the bottom, it's relatively plain and the matte black finish ensures it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Alongside the Removu text are two small LEDs, one used as a general status indicator and the other for showing the charging status of the built-in 1050mAh lithium polymer battery which should provide around 2.5 hours of continuous video streaming on a full charge. Dominating the front of the unit is a large membrane, similar to that found on the GoPro waterproof back doors users receive with the LCD Touch backpack and allowing easy operation of the Touch LCD while keeping it safe from the water. On one side of the device we have three rubberized buttons replicating the three buttons of the GoPro camera, record, power and mode and a back or previous menu button, each being easy to operate thanks to the non-slip finish providing a satisfying click and adequate spacing between each button ensuring easy operation even with gloved hands. The opposite side incorporates a flap hiding the micro USB port used for charging and applying firmware updates along with a single reset pinhole. The flap sits securely in place maintaining that water resistant overall finish. Moving to the rear, users will find two slots for insertion of the included wrist strap while the top incorporates a secure clip for opening and locking the device. The clip itself is easy to open by lifting on the rear, which in turn releases the front section, allowing the removal of the entire front cover. Inside is a small cavity for the LCD backpack hinge, while the opposite side incorporates that all-familiar GoPro port, allowing easy installation of an LCD touch backpack which sits securely in place. Notice the rubber seal around the unit. With the front cover attached, the top hinge can be closed to create a waterproof enclosure for the backpack within. As it stands, the unit is waterproof to 1 meter for up to 30 minutes, although note that Wi-Fi does not work well through water, so this is probably something you'd have more luck with using around the pool, withstanding the odd splash for example, rather than for diving. Most will be familiar with the Removu R1 as being a device users can strap to their wrist. The same is true with the Removu P1, thanks to the included wrist strap. Although available as an additional purchase is the P1 Cradle, the P1 clips neatly into the cradle, and thanks to the GoPro mount on the rear, users are now able to blend the Removu P1 into the array of mounting options available in the GoPro mounting ecosystem. When it comes to setting up, thankfully it's a relatively straightforward affair. It's a good idea to fully charge the Removu P1 before use, easy with the included USB cable. From this point, Hero 3 and 3 Plus users simply enable Wi-Fi on their camera and enter the password on the P1. Although Hero 4 users have a slightly longer initial setup, 
thanks to the Bluetooth pairing process. To begin, users will need to download and install the GoPro app on the smartphone or tablet and create a connection to the app. We've covered these steps in another video, I'll leave a link in the description box below so we won't cover that here, although it's a process that only needs completing the first time you enable Wi-Fi on your camera in order to create a wireless password. Once created, ensure the Wi-Fi on your Hero 3, 3 Plus or Hero 4 is switched on, choosing the option to connect to an existing device. Users can now switch on the remote view, select the SSID generated when connecting to the GoPro app, enter the password which is easier with the cover removed, and wait for the connection to establish, highlighted with a blue status LED. Once connected, a live stream from the camera is instantly available. Note that the P1 saves the camera password, so future connections to the same camera do not require any further setup. The 432 by 240 live stream is relatively sharp and vivid, displaying everything that the camera sees at a steady 30 frames per second. Similarly, users will notice the useful information surrounding the screen, including current shooting mode, timer and camera battery status across the top, and current shooting settings along with the removu battery status across the bottom. Of course, that typical latency between the camera and the live view previously seen on the GoPro app is still present with the Removu, even though the recent GoPro app update means the latency on the Removu is slightly worse, although hopefully that's something that will be worked on in a future firmware update. As it stands, users are able to start or stop image or video capture, as well as navigate camera modes and options using the buttons on the side of the P1, since the buttons replicate those on the GoPro itself. There's a very slight delay between the button press and the camera option changing, but nothing that's hugely annoying and not a deal breaker by far. Even better, thanks to the implementation of the LCD touch display, users are able to implement touch gestures just as they would with the Hero 4 Silver. So swiping across the screen from the right will open a menu allowing users to change modes. Swiping up from the bottom allows access to change all settings within the currently active mode. And swiping from the left enters the playback menu where users are able to play captured content with ease. All gestures replicated from using a display on the camera directly. In addition, the Removu incorporates its own menu accessed by swiping down from the top, providing the ability to easily switch between different cameras adjust date and time settings and lock the screen, and enter the Removu options, allowing users to adjust basic usage settings. Just as a longer press of the mode button on the camera switches the unit off, the same is true with the Removu P1. With a camera connected, a long press of the mode button will activate another menu, providing the ability to switch off the Removu alone, the camera alone, or both the Removu and camera simultaneously. Early adopters of the Removu R1 did suffer the odd connectivity issue, especially with the Hero 4 cameras, and yes there was the odd bug, although thankfully fixed with following firmware updates. None of that seems evident with the Removu P1, and throughout testing the P1 remained steady, maintained connectivity, and generally worked wonderfully well. It makes for a seriously useful and versatile tool. The Removu P1, just like the R1, isn't without its limitations. Like the GoPro app, users are only able to connect to one camera at any one time, so those who wish to control multiple cameras simultaneously will still be best served with the GoPro remote, although thankfully Removu have made switching between camera feeds a refreshingly simple process. Nevertheless, what it does do is not only provide the ability to line up your shots, but also enable a constant live feed while filming, as well as adding the ability to adjust camera settings on the fly and then play back your recorded footage to make sure you captured the shot. Not only is the wireless connection reliable, the unit as a whole works impressively well, and available at around the $100 mark it won't break the bank either. Being well constructed, light, yet strong and comfortable to use, mounting versatility is increased tenfold thanks to the optional GoPro Cradle. Yes, users will need to contend with that slight lag, but all in all the Removu P1 is a seriously impressive unit, taking the LCD touch backpack away from being stuck on the back of your camera and making it completely wireless, encased in a waterproof enclosure. Those with an existing LCD touch backpack looking for the added versatility and flexibility of a wireless live stream on their wrist or an easy view, independent of the camera location, will be well served with the Removu P1. It certainly left me impressed and comes highly recommended.